Zombies and Coalition. Thank you so much for speaking to me. This movie is beautiful. And what I really love is that it takes us to the origins of not just Disney, but it felt like Walt Disney as a whole. And with that, I really wanted to know, um, one is, are the main characters, Asha and Magnifico, would you say a culmination of all of like the Disney heroes and villains that we have seen? And if so, how do you really break out to also make them original and unique on its own? Well, uh, you know, the genesis of the story started in 2018 when Jennifer Lee, our chief creative officer, noticed that in 2023 we turned 100. So exactly what you were saying, we wanted to commemorate that, but at the same time create something original. So we started with the emotions. Like, what does Disney mean to all of us? So we started to talk about words like joy and hope and wishing and wishing on a star. And that kind of became our anthem. And we started to build stuff from there. And Asha was a very important character for us because she, in a way, represents all of us because we have our hopes and dreams. So we wanted her to be very accessible. And uh, we, we found that in Ariana DeVos, who is absolutely amazing. She's very down to earth and has a very sparky pers sparkling personality. And uh, I'm very a lot of, of, of Asha to the table. And then the villain. We wanted the return of the Disney villain in this movie. We couldn't have the 100th anniversary movie not have it. Uh, but because of the story, he had to be incredibly mm -hmm. charismatic. And we see him kind of descend into madness throughout the movie, you know, to reveal his true colors and become really terrifying at the end. And Chris Pine really gave, gave us all of that, you know, with like an incredibly singing voice, both of them. Mm -hmm. What I also love is seeing that there's so much detail. He pays so much great detail to both the past and also the present within the story. Can you talk about how you incorporated styles and technologies of the past, but updated it for the modern audience? Well, I think when we figure out that this movie had to be a fairy tale, we looked mm -hmm. at our first fairy tales like Snow White and Pinocchio and saw those beautiful watercolor backgrounds that they created back in the day. So we wanted to bring that into this to bring tributes to those movies. But then the art team worked with our technology team because they really wanted that look to be pushed into the future. So we needed it to be fresh and match the characters to those beautiful backgrounds. How did you know which ones you want? Because you used hand drawings and also watercolors, it seems like, and also the technology, the CG technology. Was there a decision that was made of which scenes would be more, not forced, but be more led by, say, hand drawings or the watercolor? Well, all of the movie is done uh, through computer animation with the mm -hmm. flavor of the of the watercolor backgrounds, you know? So our artists worked really hard to make sure that every sequence had its own identity, to your point, while also making it cohesive as a whole, you know? This also seems like an origin story without any kind of spoilers of not just Disney as a whole, but the, the characters that we know and we love. Um, was that the initial point was let's go back to the very beginning to in a way give these characters their own origin story well we then definitely wanted this to have disney at its core and its essence because it's a love letter to disney animation mm -hmm. so we when we started with the idea of the wishing star which we thought was very classic and we see so many characters wish upon one uh, but then we continue to build upon that and have a lot of Disney nods and references as long as they felt organic to the story and it didn't get in the way of creating the original idea, you know? But you see stuff like Star being inspired by Mickey Mouse himself with the, with the little star, with the little heart mask on its face. And there's yeah. a list that goes on where like every department brought a little bit of the Disney DNA into the mix. Can you talk about the influences of the location we kind of research? Yeah, well, you know, the the story itself is about people from all over coming to a place where there's the promise that their wishes could be granted. So it felt mm -hmm. organic and natural for it to be a multicultural kingdom. It's a fantasy kingdom, but it's inspired by that Mediterranean region because back in medieval times, uh, people really coexisted there because it's between continents. It's between the south of Europe and the north of Africa.
Wonderful. Thank you so much for speaking to me. This is a magical, beautiful movie. So thank you for giving us this. Oh, thank you so much. And I hope you all get to watch it in the big screen this Thanksgiving season. Yes, thank you. <laughs>